everyone, welcome to another Willie's Ramblings and Pickup video. Well, I've got a few more pickups this week. Uh, last week I was running around in Detroit on business. Uh, did some hunting on the side in the evenings when I had some time. Hit some uh, some disc replays. Uh, went to Destiny Games while I was up there. And a few other uh, pawn shops in the area. To see what kind of neat stuff I can come across. Uh, so let's get right to the pickups. I don't have a lot of else to talk about except for that. So, first thing is, remember last week I got a hold of my Atari 5200. Gotta love these joysticks. But I went ahead and ordered from Best Electronics an upgrade kit for the controllers for the 5200. These have gold-plated contacts on them. And I got the new Revision 9 board that also has gold-plated contacts on here as well. So this will really help the uh, reliability problems with the 5200 controller. So we'll make a video about that on upgrading a 5200 controller. Also this week the new retro, hey, new retro magazine came in the mail. Yay! This magazine is great. Love this magazine. And my uh, host, my co-host for the Atari 5200 game, uh, uh, it's not game by game, the Atari 5200 Super Podcast, he makes little 3D printed objects, so he sent me a couple little mini arcade machines that he printed out. It's pretty neat. Here's Qbert. That's awesome. And then he sent me a, a centipede 3D printed arcade game. Now that's awesome. These things are pretty cool. Now for game pickups. <coughs> I found a complete box. Kaboom. Awesome. <coughs> also a complete box. Star Raiders. Cool. I love these two games. So I don't really collect box games. But these are at a good price. The boxes are in good condition. And. I love these two games on the 2600 anyway, so I figured oh, I'll just get a box copy to put up on the shelf of these. Something different. Also, I picked up, complete in the box, a Master Merlin, the uh, sequel to Merlin, that red uh, handheld game that I showed you a few weeks ago that I found. Now what's neat about this is this one has nine new games on it. Remember the Merge of Merlin had like Tic-Tac-Toe and, and some other games. Well this one has nine more games on it such as Three Shells, High Low, Match It, Hit or Miss, Pair Off, Tempo, Musical Ladder, Patterns, and Hot Potato. That's kind of cool. This is actually kind of fun. I kind of like playing the shell game on this little bad boy. So, turn this thing on here. Boop. And I'll select game number one. And we'll do skill level number six. Alrighty. So now, so you can see it. Now we have to follow that flashing dot right there. So let's see where it goes. Uh, oh, geez. Uh, was it this one? What's that one? Rats! Try again. Okay, here we go. Try it again here. Follow that flashing dot. See where it goes. And boop. Oh, button. There it is. <clears throat> okay, I know it's right there. Yay! <laughs> Pretty cool, man. I like that. That's awesome. And while I was up in Detroit, I found one of my Holy Grail games. I've been looking for this for quite a while. I found a complete box. Defender 2000. Love this game. It's uh, it's really good. It's, it's really, really good. And what's neat about it is it has three different games in it. We have, of course, Defender 2000. Which has you know really updated graphics and all that neat stuff for Defender. There's also another game on here called Defender. Uh oh, Defender 2000 Plus maybe. No, 
Defender Plus is the next game that's on here. Another Defender game, a little bit different. A lot of fun to play. And it also has, what's really cool, the classic Defender, the arcade Defender version. That's been jazzed up from the Atari on the Atari Jaguar. It's a lot of fun to play. Uh, great graphics on it. Excellent sound effects. And of course, also on this cartridge is Plasma Pong. Which is basically the classic Pong game, but it has that plasma-like background going on. I can sit there and stare at that for hours. It's It's awful. It's cool, man. It's cool. So I'm really happy to get this complete in the box. Then for my television, I picked up Sub Hunt, which is kind of like, you know, what it says. You know, you're hunting uh, ships in your sub. It's kind of neat. I need to read the manual on it, though. But basically, you go hunting down a convoy. And once you find them, then you got to steer your sub, you know, dive down to a certain depth and steer your sub close to the convoy so you can sneak up on them and then using your periscope you uh, shoot your torpedoes out to destroy the ships I'm not very good at this game <laughs> so a little bit more practice with it that's pretty cool then for my Dreamcast collection I picked up Carrier for my Dreamcast and I don't like it. The controls are pretty wonky. Your little guy is kind of hard to control. It's kind of like a Resident Evil game, similar to it. But controls are terrible. So don't know if I'm going to keep this one or not. So I don't want to keep stuff that I like to play. And then the next thing I picked up was Nightmare Creatures 2. Now I like the original Nightmare Creatures. Uh, this is a sequel to that one, and it's it's okay. It's not too bad. I get I gotta get used to controls on it because it, it controls kind of strange. It's kind of like you move the joystick to move your your character, and he kind of sluggishly goes that way. It's not very responsive, and it also has like momentum. You let off the control, and the guy keep moving. So mm, I give that one a little more play time to determine if I'm going to keep it or not. But that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all the pickups. I know it's not very much this week, but well, anything's good. So anyway, uh, keep on gaming. I'll catch you next time.